Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove, and in this video I'm going to suggest ways in which you could identify real UFOs and rule out mundane explanations. This is an updated version of a video I first made in March 2018. After seeing the number of cases of misidentification uploaded to social media for two years since, I think this message needs to be repeated and often. So I'm going to list seven main categories that cause sightings and finish with some tips on what to do if you see a genuine UFO. In light of events in recent years and the increased attention that is now turning to this subject, particularly by the mainstream media, it's essential that we give it a more serious and scientific approach. Why give people another reason to scoff, ridicule and dismiss this vitally important subject by continuously misidentifying natural phenomena or man-made objects? Added to this, the easy availability of sophisticated video software is employed by hoaxers to fool the gullible and to cause mischief. How many more times do we have to see a post of a full streak hole with a CGI generated white light revolving around its edge? We can diffuse these attempts by learning how to discriminate and by not sharing or liking fake videos. We can also make it easier for UFO researchers by increasing the percentage of genuine sightings by reducing the number of false positives. So the first skill that you need to develop if you want to become a UFO hunter or simply want to convince the skeptics that you've seen something unusual is the ability to confidently identify and rule out the more prosaic causes of UFO sightings. In this video I'm going to suggest several ways you can do this and the tools that make the task easier. Number one, aircraft, low level. Aircraft are easily identified by their navigation lights. A typical light aircraft will have the following lights fitted. A red port light on the left-hand wingtip. A green starboard light on the right-hand wingtip. A white light shining rearward on the tail. A red rotating beacon on the top of the fin. At night or in poor visibility during the day, the aircraft may also have a white strobe light on each wingtip. And when coming into land or when taking off, the aircraft may also have a white light shining forward. So it's obviously important to take into account the location and the trajectory of the lights in the sky that may be light aircraft, helicopters, gyrocopters, or perhaps military aircraft flying at low level. And it's not just powered aircraft that may cause UFO sightings. Gliders with fireworks attached to each wingtip can sometimes give a low-level aerobatic display. Seen from a distance, this looks like a swirling, spiraling, sparkling light just above the horizon. Eerie, but not anything from another planet or dimension. Number 2. UAV – Drones In recent years, the increased proliferation of UAV, unmanned aerial vehicles or drones, has added greatly to UFO sightings. And as time passes, drones are becoming more and more sophisticated. The software has evolved to the point where drones can now be flown in formation or swarms. A swarm of drones in formation with lights fitted that fade in and out in unison creates a dramatic effect at night. If you're not aware that such a display is taking place and you witness it from a distance, you might well be wondering what on earth you're looking at. However, this would not explain the mass UFO sightings known as the Phoenix Lights in 1997, the Belgian UFO wave of sightings from 1989 to 1990, the Hudson Valley sightings, nor many other genuine mysteries that occurred well before drones became easily available. Number 3. Aircraft, medium and high level. In addition to the navigation lights previously described, Medium and high-level aircraft can be quickly identified using flight tracker websites and apps. FlightRadar24.com or RadarBox24.com are two examples. Both enable the tracking in real-time of the vast majority of civilian and commercial flights. If you have one of these apps on your smartphone, you can identify most aircraft in the sky, day or night. 
Use the apps or a website to check that the UFO you're witnessing isn't a hovering rescue or police helicopter or an airliner making its lonely way across the night sky. Aircraft are tracked on these apps because they are fitted with ADS-B and the data transmitted by these devices is publicly available. However, for obvious reasons, military aircraft are not required to broadcast their height, heading and position to all and sundry, so not all the aircraft you see will appear on these apps. Number 4. Spacecraft, Satellites and Space Junk Since Sputnik 1 was launched in October 1957, about 8,000 more satellites have been launched into Earth orbit. Some have re-entered the atmosphere and burnt up, while 3,000 remain circling the Earth in predictable paths across the skies. In addition to the satellites, there are spent rockets and other space junk, and these too have known flight paths. You can track and identify these using apps like SkyGuide. This is a really clever app that's fun to use. You simply point your smartphone or tablet at the sky and it displays not only the astronomical phenomena, but also any satellites and space junk. It'll show you what is there, whatever the weather and the time of day. It will also send you notifications when a piece of space hardware or the International Space Station is due to appear. You can then prepare to look out for it and once spotted, you can follow it across the night sky. It's fascinating to follow this process and to be able to be certain of what you are observing. That light streaking across the sky might be a satellite or it could be the body of a rocket that is now one of thousands of pieces of space junk. You should also be aware of the launches of new spacecraft. There were multiple calls to the local authorities during the launch of a SpaceX rocket in 2017. SpaceX's Starlink has also been the cause of UFO sighting reports, and as time passes, more and more rockets and satellites are appearing in the night skies. Number 5. Astronomical Phenomena Most people imagine they would never be fooled into thinking that a known astronomical body is a UFO, but people continue to be caught out by Venus when she appears above the horizon. Meteors, comets, falling stars, all of these have startled people and they can be very spectacular, but they are natural phenomena. The SkyGuide app, previously mentioned and others like it, will help you identify all the astronomical phenomena including meteor showers. Number 6. Meteorological Phenomena Have you ever seen lenticular clouds hovering over mountaintops? Swamp gas? Ball lightning? All of these have been the cause of UFO sightings, so it's important to know what they are so that they can also be ruled out. Having said that, I do not believe the Roswell crash was a weather balloon or swamp gas. And finally, number seven, misperception. I've seen clips in which people think they're filming a UFO when it's nothing more than the reflection of a light in the vehicle in which they are traveling, be it a car, a ferry or a train. Mirage is on land and Fata Morgana at sea or on larger inland lakes can also cause excitement, but which have a known explanation. Moon dogs, sun dogs and auroras have also led to reports from those who have never witnessed these phenomena before. And insects at night on security cameras are another cause of false sightings. Now let's talk about real UFOs. Having eliminated all possible explanations, aircraft, spacecraft, astronomical and meteorological phenomena, you can now report that you're probably witnessing a genuine UFO, an unidentified flying object. Your next task is to collect data. This might be difficult due to your level of excitement or fear, but try to be scientific about it. Record the following information. 1. Date time and geographic location. 2. Direction of viewing as a compass bearing and approximate elevation, the angle from the horizon to the object. 3. The shape and luminosity. Was it transparent? Metallic? Shiny or dull? What color? 4. The direction of travel and any changes in direction. Did it come to a full stop? 
Did it shoot off in a different direction? 5. Your mental and emotional status at the time of the sighting. Were you tired? Under stress or medication? Under the influence of alcohol or drugs? 6. Can you find anyone to corroborate your sighting? If it's possible, ask around. Corroboration from other witnesses is hugely important for verifying a sighting. The famous Tic Tac UFOs seen by US Navy personnel are genuine UFOs because there were multiple witnesses who corroborated each other's accounts, backed up by IR footage and radar records. If you want to go public by sharing any photos or video, then it's essential that you also share at least some of this important data. Without these reference points, your video footage is likely to become just another unexplained example that causes a shrug before people scroll on by. A serious and sober approach backed up with data is likely to get more shares and discussion on social media. It will also help to deflect some of the ridicule and denial that you're likely to encounter when you admit you've seen a UFO. To summarize, learn to distinguish and discern the real from the fake, the identifiable from the unidentifiable. Also, question everything you see and hear, not only in the skies, but also online and on TV. We are living through interesting times in which disclosure is unfolding. Keep watching the skies! Thanks for watching, but don't go yet as I have an important request. Please consider doing one or more of the following. If you'd like me to create a video for you to promote your products or services, go to redspan.com and use the contact form or just leave a comment below. Do the same if the sound of my voice is a fit for your voiceover needs. If you'd like to sponsor more videos like this, go to patreon.com forward slash redspan. Your donation, however small, will help me to improve both the quality and the quantity of my videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with others. If you have any opinions, questions or feedback, please post a comment. Finally, subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified of new similar videos. Thank you for your kind attention.